Hello Tab Nation, it's your boy Tom, and today we're going to be doing a video, uh, I could be used in other ways, but more centered at YouTube control, controlling a video. Now, YouTube already has some built-in functionality when it comes to hotkeys, uh, but we're going to kind of take those to the next level, and you'll see why here in just a second. <clears throat> Alright, so the code we got. So... F1, obviously, once again, I say in every video, change to whatever you want. We're going to do send event, which is basically the exact same thing as send. It doesn't I just don't know why I use that, but whatever. Um, and then we're going to do in brackets, curly brackets, media underscore play underscore pause. This is basically a lot of keyboards have that play pause button where it controls whatever's playing, if, whether it's music, video you know, whatever, but not all keyboards have that. So that's why we're adding this as an example in here is for people who don't have the ability to, you know, have that bu button built in. This is a way to add it. So now my F1 is my media button for play pause. And just to return, uh, I mean, if this is all that's in your code, it can be one line with no return, but we're going to have other code and stuff. So we're just going to do it this way. Buzz, that's what you guys are used to seeing. <clears throat> Next, we're doing F2. Now, this... So, in here, the example is we're doing a send 0. And in YouTube, 0 is basically start the video over from the beginning. I figured that was an easy one for you guys to visually see when we run this as an example. But, Chrome has to be YouTube... Uh, your YouTube tab basically has to be the active window. Well, that's annoying if I'm going to constantly have to use my mouse to move over to my second screen, click on the window, then push circle, then go back to whatever program I was using. That's annoying to me. So, second screen, let's say I have my Chrome tab open to YouTube, it's playing a video, and I'm in Notepad++ here. And... I wasn't paying attention. I want to start the video over. So it's going to do win get active ID ID A, which is just means active window. So basically what this is going to do is it's going to as my variable is active ID, it's going to save the ID number for this window here. So it's going to remember Notepad++. Then it's going to activate Chrome. Obviously, if you're using Firefox or Edge, just change this to whatever. But I'm using Chrome here. So it's just going to get Chrome.exe. You don't need to put a file path. It will automatically know where to find this, and or it should at least. So now YouTube is in focus. It's going to send zero, which is going to restart the video. And then it's going to do win active. And it's going to use that ID that we grabbed up here in line 9. So it's basically going to... Real quick, it's going to switch to YouTube, do whatever uh, hotkey I want it to do, and then it's going to switch me right back to Notepad. And it's going to be like I never saw it even happen. Um, so for this, like I said, I'm using zero, which just restarts uh, the video. If you want to know all the hotkeys, uh, that's actually built in as shift question mark in YouTube. So if I go to YouTube and push shift question mark, you get this pop-up that lists all the different types of uh, hotkeys that are built in. Unfortunately, they do not have a auto skip ad. So when you get that, you know, skip ad thing show up after the countdown, that's not built in hotkey. But I will be doing a video later on on a few different ways that you can do that through, you know, image search. Uh, OCR is going to be probably the best way to do it, or even just having a way where you can press a hotkey and just have it click in the spot that that skip ad is always on. Maybe you always have that window on your second thing. You can save the coordinates. So I'm going to show a video coming out soon of a few different ways on how you can s skip ads with um, auto hotkeys. Obviously, you can't skip before they allow you to. Um, but it's nicer than moving your mouse over there every single time when you're in the middle of something. So yeah. So let's go ahead and run this code. Make sure I have no other hotkeys running, which I do. 
and that's this one all right show we'll go to youtube so the first one was that media one i'm gonna go ahead and push f1 Uh, all right did i launch the right script i did close down your script or your executable if you compiled it so up here we're actually um basically building up a function call that's weird it's working but it's being a little iffy not sure why something's going weird on my computer Hasn't been restarted in a while. So the next one is probably the best one is <clears throat> doing that win active where you jump over, jump back. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll just stick here. Um, so as you see, this video, it's uh, about a minute in. It's exactly a minute in. So we're going to have it restart. So I'm going to push F2. And you saw that? It was like a real quick flash. Now let's go to it manually. And as you can see, it restarted. It went back to the beginning so it was like a real quick flash but then i'm right back to where i was in my work you know oh f2 let's restart boom back to my work didn't have to use my mouse just a single button click on my keyboard so obviously yeah you can change this sin to whatever else you wanted to do add multiple sins for some reason if you're doing something crazy uh, you know, I know there's some where it's like, go to next video on your playlist, that kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, if you guys have any questions about this, comments, concerns, let me know in the comments. Definitely hit that subscribe button. Thumbs up always helps me out greatly. And bell notification, because I'm doing multiple videos every week. So I'm always pretty much around unless it's a major holiday weekend. Alright everybody, I will see you all next time. That's something you don't need to recommend to me because I definitely plan to do that. I only have, uh, I don't know, maybe 50 of them done. Um, and they're kind of random on what I got done. Um, but the beautiful thing about this is the code's typed. I haven't saved this as an AHK file yet. But the cool thing is I can go ahead and run it anyway without the need of actually saving. It's basically uh, doing some DLL calls using some pipes, uh, two pipes. Uh, so it's kind of like it's making a temporary file in the, the memory uh, kind of way. I guess is a, a very simple way to explain it, but it's way more complex. I can explain that in another video. So I'm going to push run. Hello. It's going to wait five seconds, 5,000 milliseconds, and we'll get that second message box. World. So you can run code without the need to save it. Uh, I use.